Hey, hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm Khan and we are learning about data science interview rounds. So now as we are preparing for data science, so like uh, I gave you, so what are the various data science interview questions or how exactly you need to prepare for data science interviews. Now this is going to be your data science interview rounds. So based on 2024, so the current uh, market, so how the companies are hiring about uh, data science jobs. So this is what the flow chart is. I prepared it so that you can just have a look. So we will be doing this plan now. And apart from it, there is one more challenge. A lot of uh, job seekers are finding it difficult. So that the major challenge is there are a lot of ghost jobs available in the market. Means the companies, they are just blindly or simply, they are giving lot of openings on data science or Gen AI and all these particular fields. The major reason is in order to attract the stakeholders or in order to attract uh, the market stating that, hey, these companies are growing. So in order to create that impression or there are various reasons, I created a podcast on it. It is available in Spotify. You can check that. So let's start with the very first one. So as a data science learners, so now the very first round going to be your screening round. So in screening, there are two different levels of screening. One is resume level of screening. Another one is HR based screening. What exactly meant by resume level screening is based on the points you placed in your resume. We call it as ATS. So based on the points you placed in your resume, your resume going to be shortlisted. So like maybe in the job portals like Naukri or Indeed or Monster, so like your resume going to be shortlisted and once your resume is shortlisted, so why screening going to happen? So before even all this, they're going to be a data science job requirement. So they are having a on means like there is a project. So upcoming, so they want the talent. So for that reason, they've started performing marketing. So like across the job portals, so on the particular position and they want to understand or they want to hire a relevant candidate for that they, there are a lot of people available on data science so for that reason they conduct the first level of screening which is resume so how your resume shortlisted as i said based on your keywords and all that they are shortlisting and then once they shortlisted their resume so the hr is going to give a call just to test your soft skills just to test your soft skills what exactly meant by soft skills is once your resume got shortlisted they want to see whether you can explain about your project or your resume is a fake resume they want to check that for that reason hr going to give a call and they cross check whether he is capable enough to face the interview or not once this particular screening is completed that's what the screening the decision once the decision is yes they're going to be a technical assessment so the technical assessments are again two types. One, you have aptitude test. If you are a fresher, especially, especially if you are a fresher, you're going to have your aptitude. And the, most of the companies may not have an aptitude. Means like if you are going with an, uh, maybe like around two to three year of experience. So like uh, it, they will be having your programming test. So in the programming test, again, they may conduct you Depends. For example, if you are going with a product-based companies like uh, Meta or Netflix or Google, this kind of companies, so they want a guy with a high amount of logical thinking, creativity, innovation. For that reason, they will be going with programming tests, especially on DSA, data structures and algorithms. In case if you are targeting service-based industry, so like maybe Infosys or TechM, this kind of uh, means like... Um, your service-based industries, then they will be conducting programming tests or they try to provide you a case study on data science. And on that case study, they want to test your, uh, means like your entire data science life cycle. So we all know data science life cycle, like uh, data collection, data understanding, problem statement. So first problem statement, data collection, data understanding, data uh, cleansing, or we can say in the data understanding, we have EDA, cleansing, and then going with your selecting your output variable, your input variables. So how you are doing feature engineering, how you decide between scaling or encoding. So like and selecting a right algorithm, right uh, evaluation metrics and model accuracy improving techniques. All this is the life cycle. So they give a case study and they ask you to solve or they conduct programming tests like uh, maybe like on Python or SQL, they conduct the coding questions. So either coding questions or you will be having a uh, case study. In case if you are targeting product-based companies, they will be going and focusing on data structures and algorithms. Once you are able to clear 
even the technical route or what, what, whatever the technical assessment we say, once you are able to clear it, we are able to conduct a technical interview. So in a technical interview, they're going to ask you three different questions. So now one, they will be focusing on questions on projects. So the projects, I mean, the whatever the real time projects or whatever the experience you have it. For example, you said I worked on a, um, for example, I worked on a classification. So there is nothing like a classification project. So now every project comprises of a business problem. So every project need to have a business problem. The project need to have your approach. So now in order to solve this business problem, what is your approach? So your approach is your data science approach. So now what data you collected? So everything you for this business problem, what steps you have done, they're going to ask you. And then they focus on your uh, value. So now by giving your approach, what is the value the company are able to get it or we can say the outcome. So they focus on the projects and in the projects, they ask you why you select, who are your team members, why you selected this particular project. So now um, why this particular algorithm, why not another technique? So like why you use statistics, why you decided statistics is the right one, why this input data, why not something else? So like uh, why you accepted or undertaken that project or the business problem, all this they will be asking. And once your project based questions are done, they may ask you questions related to your machine learning algorithm. They ask you, hey, come on, pick me one interesting algorithm which you know and or pick me the algorithm which you're comfortable with. They ask you the theory behind those algorithms. So they ask you the theory behind um, means like your evaluation matrix. They may ask you the theory behind the explainability of your algorithm. And again, once it is done, they may ask you about how you hand it over the particular project to the client. So we can say it is called as a serving or we, we call model serving, how you've done that. So like uh, means they ask you questions related to your model serving. And then they may ask you questions related to your scenario based questions. They give you a case study and they ask you questions on the scenario means like at this point for this particular case study, what type of data you're going to collect it. So why you collect it. So they want to see your means like analytical thinking related soft skills. They want to test it. So this is going to be your technical interview means the basic idea behind a technical interview is really this guy worked on this or not. The reason why they are testing is, as I said, they got a job requirement for that job requirement by asking all these questions, they are understanding whether this person is he a right match or he's just simply done it as a course or he's just trying to fake himself. So they want to just understand it. For that reason, they try to conduct this into a technical interview based. Uh, the basic purpose of technical interview is that they want to understand your technical standards. And once it is done, they go with your managerial round. So in a managerial round, especially it's going to be more like a technical interview, but so it's going to be more like, again, you start your managerial round with you. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about your project. Again, they ask you to explain about your project. Once you explained about your project, then they focus primarily on scenario based questions. So managerial round going to be mostly about scenario based questions and they try to see how they can use your skills means they try to ask more about their current project or upcoming project. They see how fit you are to the current upcoming project or they see how fit you are your skills. So like are you adoptable? Are you confident? So like they ask questions about their upcoming project. Hey, see, this is the project which we are having. Or they may say, they may not say like, hey, this is the project, but they give you some scenarios related to their upcoming project. They see your adoptability, whether he can go back and can he adopt. So how is your thought process? Can he add a value to my particular project or not? Or I'm just wasting time on this particular candidate. They are trying to test that in your managerial round. There will be less of the theory. So maybe like moderate theory or there will be less of theory and they try to see more of your scenario based so that they can understand whether you are seriously a fit to the company or not. They are able to understand it with the help of your managerial round. So now this is the crucial part. So mostly technical and manager round going to be similar, but the purpose of technical interview is to test your technical expertise, technical expertise, and how you implemented your technical knowledge in your 
previous projects. That's what they are testing in your technical interview, in your current, in your previous company or in your current company. So like how you use your technical expertise to solve problems. So in order to solve problems, that's what they are trying to test it in your technical interview. And in your managerial interview, they are trying to test your, so like uh, knowledge or technical knowledge. So they try to check your technical knowledge or expertise to the company you're getting or to the upcoming project. So they want to test this. So like if I hire him, how we can add a value to my upcoming project or to my company, they want to test that. For that reason, they are going with your managerial round. And the percentages, so now people, if the technical guy is interviewing 100 people, hardly there are chances of getting one to two people getting selected. So hardly. So like one to two people going to be selected for the next rounds. So now that's the reason they are trying to increase this above screening more strong. So now if you are able to see there is a lot of filtering, there is a lot of screening. If they are going with a lot of years of experience, all this is because of one major reason. So now if they are interviewing 100 people, so like for one position or two positions or maybe even five positions, if they are interviewing hundreds of people, they are getting one or two people right matches or right candidates. So that's the reason in order to reduce the burden for the technical people, they are trying to increase the above screening process more tough. That's what happening in the company. Once your managerial round is completed, you go with your final HR round where you discuss about the feedback of all the interviews. In case if you are not selected, they give you positive negative feedback. So you can take the uh, means like uh, feedback or inputs from the HR. And in case if you selected, they give a positive feedback and they discuss about the salary negotiation. They discuss about your documentation, notice spirit, all this stuff going to be discussed at a final HR. So notice spirit going to be discussed at two layers. At here, the reason, if there is a guy, means they have an urgent requirement. If there is a person with three months notice spirit, they don't even screen you into the rounds. So that's the reason notice spirit plays a crucial role in order to get into the interview process and even to get outside, to get selected and to get the offer letter. All this is dependent on your, uh, means like your notice spirit as well. So like once your final HR, you speak about your salary negotiation, you go with your uh, offer letter, you go with your previous documentation and all this work going to happen. So this is the flow which going to happen. In case if you are a fresher, they may ask you about your uh, your internship certificates and all that. Maybe like your, mostly internship certificates they ask you. So like uh, your college documents, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, all this, they're going to ask you at your final HR. So when it comes to aptitude, this is mostly for freshers, people who are about two year experience, they directly go into the programming test. Even that programming test going to be your, uh, what is that, case studies or programming test based on the company, based on the technical person, based on the company, it is dependent. And uh, once, if you are into a product based, they will be going with your DSA. The purpose is service-based companies expect you to interact with the clients. So they focus more on your communication and your soft skills. Service-based industries, they focus on your communication, soft skills, plus they focus on your technical skills. Whereas product-based, they look at your creativity levels, at your innovation levels, your logical thinking, all this they look at more at a product-based company. I hope you got a clear understanding about how the data science interview rounds going to happen. I hope. Uh, in case um, any doubts you have it, you can just ping it in the comments so that I can just uh, reply it or I can just make a video around your questions. I hope you got some clear understanding about data science interview rounds. Thank you so much.